What's up guys, Jake here. In this video, let's cover one of my favorite options trading strategies, and that would be selling out of the money credit spreads on the S&P 500. To understand the example we're gonna do in today's video, you really should be familiar with credit spreads. In the event you haven't seen it already, check out my playlist on trading options. It's this video right here, Credit Spreads Explained, Passive Income from Trading Options. In addition, I do examples on individual stocks, Tesla and JP Morgan in this video. And I've already made a video on uh, credit spreads on the S&P 500, which would be this video. This is a bear call credit spread. In this video, we're doing the other side, which is the bull put credit spread. And the ETF we're gonna be doing an example on is State Street's SPY. The reason being, this is the most traded uh, ETF or stock for options in the world. And when we're gonna talk about uh, the bull put spread, it's beneficial if a stock is trading sideways or going up. And when you look at the S&P 500 the last year, year and a half, it's pretty crazy how, how fast this uh, ETF has risen or, or the entire market has risen in the last 18 months. That's a testament to the power of the Federal Reserve uh, increasing the money supply. So I wanted to do an example for you guys uh, when there was a more dramatic pullback. You can, when you look at the technicals, Huge pullback here in May, big pullback here in June, big pullback here in July. But this market's not done going up. It's gonna keep rising until the, the Fed um, begins tapering or increasing interest rates, which isn't gonna happen for the next couple months at least. So let's try and sell a short-term out of the money credit spread on SPY. There was, uh, the market got as high as 446. There was a pullback to 439, it's going back up again, but uh, let's go ahead and quickly put in a credit spread on, on, on SPY in this video. Before we get into my Schwab account, let's just quick recap the four kinds of vertical spreads. There are two credit spreads and two debit spreads. Debit spreads, you are net paying something for your position today. Credit spreads, you are net receiving a payment today. Debit spreads are the bull call and the bear puts. They're very speculative. You need the share price to move in your favor in order to make money. And with credit spreads, uh, these are a substitute for not doing covered calls or cash secured puts. You don't wanna have to put up the collateral of holding 100 shares or buying 100 shares. The trade-off is you can lose money uh, with credit spreads if the share price really turns against you. So I've already done an example of the uh, bear call. In this video, we're doing the bull puts, and it's to collect premium. You're trying to make money by taking advantage of theta decay, the fact that all these contracts are slowly wasting away over time. Now, when selling a bull put credit spread, you do this because you think the share price of the company is going up. It doesn't have to go up. If it trades perfectly sideways, you're fine. So to initiate this trade, you need to first sell a put that's out of the money. It's a little bit confusing because the call side, I think, is easier to visualize. But on the put side, if it's out of the money, then uh, the strike for the put that you're selling is below the current share price of the stock or ETF. So as long as it goes up, uh, you would be making money on this put that you sold. Now, if you have the cash in your accounts and you just sell a put, that's a cash secured put. We don't want to do that. We don't want to lock up that much collateral for a single contract. So we're going to trade a spread. And in order to do that, we have to sell another, uh, we have to buy a put at a lower strike. And we're doing this to cover ourselves. If we don't have the collateral in our account to buy 100 shares at the strike, that's a naked put. Our broker doesn't allow that, that's very risky. If the share price of the stock or ETF turns against you, you can lose a lot of money. So we're going to cap our potential losses on this put that we sold by buying a put at a lower strike. So we're making money, we're selling a put and collecting a premium for this strike, and we're paying some of it back in order to cover ourselves to mitigate risk on this trade by buying a put at a lower strike. So if the share price of the stock or ETF uh, goes, goes below the put that we sold, we're, we're now losing money. But if it continues blowing past the put that we bought, our, our losses are capped. We can't lose anymore. 
what you're gaining in value from the put that you bought. It's covering uh, the value of the put that you sold that you're losing. So the most that you can lose on this bull put spread is the width of the strikes minus the credit that you're gonna be receiving today. And the most that you can make is just the credit that you're receiving today should all the contracts expire worthless by expiration. And this would only happen if the share price of the company uh, continues going up, trades sideways, or stays above your break-even price. So your break-even price would be the credit you receive today uh, minus uh, what well, was subtracted from uh, the strike of the put that you sold. So it can go a little bit below this line, but any more than that, and then you start losing money on your bull put spread. If this is still confusing for you, let's just do an example in my Schwab account. Examples always help me understand this best. So I have one share of State Street's SPY in my account. We're going to open up the option chain and uh, build the spread. Here is the option chain for State Street's SPY. First thing we need to do is select an expiration date. Let's go with September 10th, that's in three weeks. That's a good amount of time for uh, the contracts to waste away, which is what we want. I also wanna turn on the Greeks so I can reference Delta and maybe look at IV for fun. And let's choose a custom range for the strikes and let's go between 425 and 445. Now, when we look at the chart for SPY, it was as high as 446 recently, last week, and then got as low as 439. And I, once again, I just don't see this thing stopping anytime soon. Uh, I, I don't see a dramatic drop in the near future as the Fed continues to um, buy government bonds and, and keep their interest rates at zero. So I, I think the market is gonna keep inflating in the short term. So as long as the market keeps going up or trades sideways at least over the next three weeks, we can make some money by doing a bull put spread on, on uh, the SPY. So looking at the option chain, we're on the put side because this is a bull put spread. We're bullish on SPY and we're doing a put spread. The current share price, uh, the markets are open and uh, the current share price is 443.22. Uh, so the closest strike out of the money would then be 443 with a delta value of 0.497, meaning according to the Black-Scholes formula, there's a 49.7% chance that this contract will expire in the money. Normally, I like to go for a delta value of about 30%, so at a strike price of 435, I'm seeing a delta value of 0.31. Looks good to me. So we're gonna select 435 and then determine how big of a, a width we want to uh, make the strikes. That's how much collateral we're, we're risking on the trade. Let's go with the strike of 435. So I've, I've selected the two strikes, and according to the Black-Scholes formula, there's a 23% there's a chance that uh, I could hit my max loss on this trade by the share price of SPY getting to 430. I realistically just don't see that happening, uh, but you, you gotta have probabilities associated to, to these strikes, and this is what the Black-Scholes spits out. Now, IV is really low. It's only 17% uh, because the SPY hasn't been that volatile lately. So let's go to the top here, and you're gonna sell to open one and buy to open one. Which one do you sell to open? It's the one that's the uh, strike closer to the current share price. So we're going to sell to open the strike of 435 and uh, buy to open the strike of 430. So the credit, it's telling us the quote is 0.72. So I can make $72 on this trade. So let's go to the review page and once again, just think about everything that's happening here. In order to make money on this vertical spread, I need SPY to stay above 435 by September 10th. Uh, so currently, you know, it pulled back to 439. Uh, it was as recently as high as 446. I think it's gonna keep going up. I honestly could raise these strikes in order to collect a larger credit. Um, but actually, yeah, why don't, we, why don't we do that actually? Let's, let's go ahead and amend this and change the strikes. So in Schwab, that's pretty easy to do. We can go here to 438. We're just gonna tack on uh, $3 to each strike. And that's now going to get our credit up to $87. So um, 
a little bit more, I don't know. We, we actually can risk more by widening it. So what if I change this to 432? That makes it, okay, makes it an even 100. So I can make $102 now on this spread, but I'm risking uh, 600. <laughs> Let's go to market order and you can click on uh, trade and probability calculator to kind of see what your max loss is. So my max profit, $102, uh, my max loss, 495, which is the width of the strikes minus the credit that I'm receiving today. Uh, if, if, if you like this trade and you want to up it, you can always uh, go crazy here and change those to 10 and 10. Uh, once again, make it a market order. So I could collect $1,000 in premium today, uh, but I'm risking five grand, 4,907. Up to you, uh, but I think this uh, is a good trade. I'm just gonna stick, well, let's do two actually. I'll do two today. Rearrange this market order. Uh, so I'm gonna collect $206 uh, and I'm putting up uh, $994 in collateral in order to make this trade. When we go back to my positions page, you can now see they're in here. Once again, I sold to open two contracts for the strike of 438 and I bought to open two contracts for a strike of 432. So as long as SPY stays above 438 uh, by September 10th, let's see here, yeah, pulled back to 439, so I think it'll stay above 438 by September 10th, then I can collect the full 200 uh, for this uh, vertical spread. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up so the algorithm knows it's good. In addition, if you have any comments or questions, let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys. Also check out that playlist on trading options. I've made a lot of quality videos for you guys over, over this year so far. Till the next video, take care.